Gabe, good morning, and good morning. This, this is Chemo Duck. Yes, it is. And you got to tell me the story about Chemo Duck. Well, I think Earl was going to... Earl going to tell that story? Yeah, please do, Earl. I'm going to read this because there's a lot of detail I don't want to don't wanna leave out. So, first now, is wanna... this a short story, Earl, or is this no, a long... Two pages. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, I want to thank you. You're one of our heroes. You thank know, you very much. Uh, my name is Earl Hansel, and I've nominated uh, Lou Sipos. Sipos, close enough. It, <laughs> as a hometown hero, her story began on January 1st, 2002, with the birth of her son, Gabe. Uh, since Gabe was born on January 1st, he became the Nashville New Year baby of 2002. And that was good news until the bad news came at the end of the year when Gabe was diagnosed with Raba. Raba Rhabdomyosarcosis, right? There you go. How do you say that, Gabe? I say it. Rhabdomyosarcoma? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's right. I, I, I saw that on the sheet I have. I said, I hope somebody else, I hope I, they don't want me to say that because they look. <laughs> Good job, Gabe. <laughs> well, that was Christmas of the year he was born. Okay, Gabe learned to walk and talk while enduring nine months of chemo and 30 months of radiation. 30 days. 30 days of <laughs> radiation and numerous surgeries. During this time, uh, Lou felt lost and was unsure of her role on his medical team. Chemo Duck grew out of her desire to have a way to communicate with Gabe, and someone left a stuffed duck as a gift for Gabe, so she decided to turn it into a pal for, for, uh, for Gabe. She thought it would, be, it would make him smile and break the ice with a doctor, so she took the duck home, along with a, a length of clean chemo tube and a tiny pair of hospital pajamas, uh, Lou soon, soon set about turning the duck into a chemo patient. She created a superhero. All of the doctors and nurses treated chemo duck before they treated Gabe. Suddenly, Gabe knew what to expect and had little control over a situation. The doctor could only treat Gabe if he treated chemo duck first. Uh, Lou <laughs> and Gabe uh, role played through some of his issues at home and even made a shoebox MRI machine so they could role play in new situations. At their clinic, friends wanted their own ducks, so Lou started making them by hand. Soon she realized that this project would be more than a home business, so she <laughs> gathered a board of directors who helped her create a non-for-profit organization. Ten years later, her organization served close to 150 hospitals in the U.S. and U.K., and by the end of 2014, they will have distributed close to 25,000 Chemo ducks. My gosh. Congratulations, Lou, for being a hometown hero of the month of January 2015. It is well deserved. Yeah, no kidding. Good job, Lou. Well, so Lou, 25,000 ducks. Now, where did they all come from? They're, they're made in China. They're made in China. I see. Well, they're, yeah. but I, well, you said you, you made, you started the making first, them. You're, okay, no, I said I dressed the first one. I had this vision of you sitting in a little room, just, yeah. you know, like night and day making these ducks. No, I started dressing them, and truth be told, I can't sew, so I was making, the, <laughs> they were making their little clothes with Wonderweb, so um, it quickly became too much. And, you know, the whole program's grown out of a need and not a desire to create a nonprofit. I mean, the, the, the program has grown organically um, through word of mouth and spreading from hospital to hospital. And we really, uh, we're there to, to help the kids. That's what we, you know, that's what we exist for. And, and that's the reason why we exist. And we can't do it without the help of people like you. And we're extremely well, grateful to, well, to well. have been chosen and nominated by Earl. Thank you so much. Well, we're excited about you being here this morning. Gabe, um, tell us about your little friend. How did how did uh, when you first started uh, when you first started with Chemo Duck? What were, what were you thinking? Um, why it was such a long time ago. I can't remember much other than I was afraid of a lot of the time until my mom made the first Chemo Duck, and um, it just definitely took away some of my fear. I see. So it's a, it was a comfort thing. Yes. You had a buddy. Mm -hmm. Somebody was in the fight with you. Yeah. And uh, and the duck filled that role. Mm -hmm. That's that's so that's so special. Well, how are you today, Gabe? How are you doing um, today? Actually, I am. I am ten years cancer free. Or. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. 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 And and where do you, what do you do? Where do you go to school? Uh, Spring Station. Spring Station. And how old are you? 
I am 13. 13 years old. Well, you're a brave young man. Thank and you. uh, to go through what you've been through and the you and your mom to help other kids that are going, you, you know, there's nothing like people always say, oh, I know how you feel. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't know how you feel because they haven't been where you've been. Yeah. And so I don't know how you feel, but I certainly am proud of what you've done with, with what was affecting you and now you're trying to help other people. That's that, the two of you together, that makes a real hometown hero. Thank you. Yeah, man. So congratulations. And I don't know who's going to, we're going to give the trophy to mom because it's, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> there you go, mom. Thank there's, you so we have much. a trophy for you and we have a check for $500 for your, That's wonderful. For your organization. And uh, uh, I, I, my, I say this every time and it's, it's because it's what I believe, but it's, it's ordinary people like yourself doing extraordinary things for other people. And uh, you do it out, of, it's a labor of love. I know you didn't go into this thinking you're going to make any money or make 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 a lot of money. I'm sure it's just to help other kids and Absolutely. get through some tough times. And that's a hero. That's a hero to us. Well, like I said to Jessica, the, ki the heroes are the kids who are going through this. And we're just here to help them, but we can't do it without people like you. So well, thank you. We, I appreciate the, the recognition, but really the, the kids are the ones that, they, they're the ones who are living through this. So we're just... We're just here to support them. Thank you. Good. Well, congratulations to both of you. Uh, to you for being where you are health-wise and, uh, and for you for all the hard work. And only one thing I'd ask, keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> all right. We appreciate it. All right. Nice, nice to meet you again, Dave.